Hey, it's Pam Adair on day 24. And I want to share some thoughts with you on the, the idea that procrastination is not a bad thing. You know, we've been taught that it's a bad thing. You've got to just get yourself and force yourself into action. But I learned from one of my favorite teachers, Abraham Hicks, that procrastination is basically an indication. It's an indication that the energies aren't lined up yet. And if you try to go and force yourself into action before the energies are lined up, you know, you're just going to be working really hard, swimming upstream, you know, spinning your wheels. Not to say it won't get done, but it'd take a lot more effort. So last year I was trying to sell my RV and was really having a tough time. It was a big, a big ordeal and ended up um, somebody gave me a deposit and then fail through and I just gave I just gave up and said, all right, I'll sell it next season. So here's coming spring and I know I need to get going on selling it. And I am just dragging my feet because there's a few things I need to get done before I do that. And I'm just dragging my feet and knowing I need to do something. And all of a sudden it hits me. I need to line up my energy. So I sat down and I started writing some things out that would help me shift my energy and line it up so that things could go smoothly and that the sale would go really easily and smoothly. And I, I would find a buyer who really just loved the RV as much as I did or maybe more. Anyway, moving on. So what happened then was that same day, I felt this just compulsion to go out and open the RV up and clean it up and also do two things that I was dreading doing. The step wasn't coming down on the RV and the air conditioner wasn't coming on. And I knew that, you know, they could be fixed. It had to be something. And sure enough, I was able to find what needed to be fixed and fix it. I was so elated. Came back in the house feeling really good about that. And then I had this strong compulsion to go get it smog. So I called one place. They said, oh, next week. And I thought, no, I got to get it done. For some reason, it was Friday. And I thought, I just got to get it done. Somebody may want to buy it this weekend, which in my logical mind said, well, yeah, but they're not going to have the money. So they can't buy it on the spot. But I just felt the compulsion to get it done. So I found another place that would do it. And then the next step was for me to actually drive it because there was nobody around that could drive it for me. And I've driven it before, but I don't really care for driving it that much. But I just said, I got to do it. I just got to do it. So I went out and did it, came home, put the RV up on Craigslist, got one phone call from a guy that wanted to come out the next day. He came out, looked it over for a little while and pulled out a box of money. He had the money on the spot. So once I lined up my energy, I did everything that needed to get done. The procrastination just completely went away. And I sold it like that. Even got the money before noon when I could go to the bank and put deposit it in the bank that day. I, I just love to remind myself of things like that. So whenever you're feeling pro, like procrastination, it may be time to just sit down and align the energy up. That's my thought for today.